This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points, Get Free Gift Cards, Games, and much more. Try free apps, get rewards. Go to your iOS or Android browsers and type http colon forward slash forward slash f-e-a-t-u dot r-e forward slash v-g-o. Use the app, start reaping the rewards. And I thought while I'm waiting for my online RPGs that I've been, I'm going to be start to make some more videos about with uh, gameplay. I'm going to play some some games that are don't require internet, and one of them is Fate by Numbers. It's a independent uh, freeware game. It's sort of a, in the style of the old uh, Amiga live action point and click adventures and it's sort of a science fiction slash cyberpunk slash film noir i already played this game before really enjoyed it thought i'd share the, the pleasure with you so uh, you can click the link below to buy, to download your own personal copy so i'm not keeping this all to myself this, is, this game is available to everyone to, to play so uh turn out the music a bit and voiceover. Breeze. Haha, yeah. <laughs> that's cute. Breeze, breeze, breeze. Okay, it's all black and white. Let's start the game. Black screen here. And we're gonna get to see some gameplay here. Here we go. This, this, the We've title heard screen. good things about you. Quick and to the point. That's why we came to you with this delicate operation. We would like you to gain possession of a briefcase. It will be carried by a man, accompanied by two bodyguards. The guard with the earring gave us the tip. He will take care of the other guard. You just concentrate on the briefcase. We know this person will arrive at 11.15 Sainsbury Station tomorrow evening. What's in the briefcase? Mm. That is our concern. You just concentrate on retrieving the briefcase. Who's the guy? He's not important. Suffice it to say, he has something we want. And who is we? We are a group of concerned civilians that likes to remain anonymous. I don't do business with anonymity. Well, let me ease your mind with 20 grand now, and we'll double that when you hand over the briefcase. You'll be contacted. Yeah. Later. Digital money. Your token is much appreciated, Mr. Doe. The best of luck to you, Miss Sam. I'll be seeing you soon. Oh yes. So far I'm I knew Mr. Doe would be trouble. Unfortunately, I was right. Uh oh. Alice? What are you doing here? What's wrong? What are you doing here? Oh! Starring Nicole Mischler. Heard of her. 
Remco Corman. Tristan Maria. Paul Van. Mark Chalkello and General Walters. Music by Jiggy Jamont. It does have a retro look to it, like besides the black and white, it does have an old 90s point and click adventure to it. For a moment, I thought I felt my heart breaking, but it turned out a sniper bullet pierced my left lung. The next week I spent in the hospital, telling the police what I saw while I drifted in and out of consciousness. Hello, Mother. Alice, what happened to you? Cut shaving. Oh, please. <laughs> Someone got me in the back with a sniper rifle while I was on the case. Oh, Alice, I knew it would happen sooner or later. I don't suppose you're going to quit now? No. Did you bring any fruit? I'll return to that chair. Do you know who did it? No, I have a clue. I've made a lot of enemies, though. Not any new ones. Something strange, though. I saw Robert. How can that be? I guess that's why he was presumed dead instead of confirmed dead. But you've been searching for him for years. I know. But he just vanished without a trace. But I saw him. He's back. I don't even know what to think. Me neither. But I'm going to talk to Alistair Defense. They're the ones who sent him on the supposed fatal mission. I've got to go now. Yes. Don't worry about me. You know that's impossible. Dad too busy to make the visit? Uh, important police business. Uh, he sends his love there. Important police business. Of course. I got discharged from the hospital with a few things on my mind. First off, who shot me? Second, hmm, what was in that briefcase worth shooting me for? And finally, how the hell is Robert caught up in all this? He looked good for a dead man. Let's inspect this place. You couldn't be a private investigator without your name on a glass plate. That the rest of the office looked like a dump was less intentional. I didn't mean to do that. It was a PCAP scanner. Decades ago, after the big riots, the government ordered PCAP chips to be planted in everyone's head. This made tracking them down much easier. But it did more. It also stored your bio data. They could analyze it if a person was smart or stupid or would die of any uh -huh. genetic diseases. A side effect to this was that you couldn't get a decent job if you had a low PCAP. Seems harsh. But then again, dumb people rarely got a decent job. It's just the way of the world. It was a PCAP scanner. You saw a lot of them in semi-public places. This one made sure everyone entering or leaving the building was on record. What happened to those records after that was anyone's guess. PCAP scanner. I didn't talk to things. The hack tool didn't work on that. Okay. There's her car. I just wish she could go back. 
wanted some things to examine a room. It's a cool car though. Oh, I get it. My office. Let's go back to our office here. Alright, let's examine some things here. Pictures from a happier time. My grandparents, my mother and me, and my father in his police officer uniform. <laughs> Pictures from a happier time. My grandparents, my mother and me, and my father in his police officer uniform. Pictures from a happier time. My grandparents, my mother and me, and my father in his police officer uniform. Let's look at the computer. It was an old PC. It still did what I wanted it to do. It also taught me patience. Let's, let's examine it. Cool monitor. Phone There's drive. no reason to. Actual 7205. No targets available. Shut it down. Let's look at a. Let's call mom. Sally Residence? It's me. I just wanted to let you know I'm okay. Oh, that's good to hear. Do you please get Dad for me on the phone? Are you still in the same house? Uh, how are you and Dad doing? How are you and Dad doing? Oh, same as usual. I'm busy at the hospital and your Dad's always busy. We usually spend the evenings at home. Sometimes friends come over and sometimes we go to the theater. Could you please get dad on the phone for me? Could you please get dad on the phone for me, please? I'll try, but you know he's very busy today. Lots of work. Busy, sure. He doesn't want to talk to me, right? Yes. He's still angry with you for what happened at the force. That had nothing to do with him. I know, but he sees it as a big insult. You know how he is. The police force is corrupt. I know that, and so did Robert. Only he's too blind to see it. That force is his whole life. You still live in the same house? You live in the same house? Yes, we don't see any reason to move. Is that really why you called to talk about our house? I have to go. Talk to you later. I've got to go. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Alice. Our tea, cup of, cut, cup of tea, spot tea. Alright. What else can she do? There's no reason to. There's no reason to. Sleaze he doesn't bag. interest me. Okay, there's no one to call. I've done everything I can. Let's go for a drive. And do some investigating, do some sleuthing. That's pretty cool. Alright, where should I go here? The parrot. Always information at a bar. The parrot was a sorry excuse for an establishment. Nobody knew anymore why it was called the parrot. More importantly, nobody cared. And that was the most attractive trait of the place as well. No one cared. If you wanted to do business, but didn't want to get noticed, you went to the parrot. This parrot positively never talked. Let's talk to the bartender. Jack, the bartender. We go way back. He was the only reason I came here. Apart from the cheap drinks, of course. There were easier ways to get a drink. Let's talk to her. Hi, Jack. Alice. Long time no see. 
What have you been up to? Recovering from a sniper shot. Ouch, bad news. Let me fix you up with the only good shot there is. Thanks. Hold the ice. Cheers. <sighs> How's business lately? How's business lately? Same old. Bad. But not bad enough to quit. I missed you, though. Thanks. Yeah. You drink whiskey like it's lemonade. <laughs> Just kidding. You're more sophisticated than the regulars. Hear anything strange lately? Hear anything strange lately? <laughs> Look where I work. You have to be a bit more specific. <laughs> Do you hear anything about a deal going down in South Sainsbury Station last month? Did you hear anything about a deal going down in Sainsbury Station last month? Nope. Sorry. Thanks, Jack. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks, Jack. I'll let you get back to your work. Talk to some other people? They were a sad bunch of misfits and petty criminals. They'd start to fight if it weren't for the fact that everybody was too drunk, or were busy not being noticed. Say hello to the charming customers of the Parrot. Say hello to the charming customers of the Parrot. They were a sad bunch of misfits and petty criminals. They'd start to fight if it weren't for the fact that everybody was too drunk. It had one of those poems that no one finds funny. And when my life is over, and my time has come to pass, I hope they bury me upside down so the world can kiss my ass. <laughs> it used to work, then someone shot it. It didn't work anymore. Okay, I had enough. It's, uh, Sainsbury Station. I felt a sense Seen of dread coming over me like cold water. I never liked the place, but after what happened here, I positively hated it. Property of Protect Vision. That must be where the video is kept as well. I figured that those images could give me some insight as to what happened. Hmm. This could be a point. Yeah. I couldn't do anything with the camera. It was a newspaper stand, but it was closed a long time ago when the station downsized. Anything else here? It was the waiting room, which wasn't so bad, if you didn't have a nose. I had nothing to wait for and it couldn't tell me anything about the sniper. Take a look at that. No? Okay. Lester Defense. The new Mafia. One of the most powerful armies in the city. They started out as private security forces. Now they control entire parts of the city. Security. Hire us, or suffer the consequences. Nothing changes, only the outfits. Okay. Anything? It was a waste bin. It was almost empty apart for some candy wrappers and an apple core. Okay. This tool needed a PC to do its semi-legal hacking work. I had nothing to throw away and I wasn't going to pick up what was in it already. The painting on the wall probably showed Mr. Alistair himself. The electronic eye in the sky. It was a waste bin. It was almost empty apart for some candy wrappers and an apple core.
There are some pamphlets. They probably told you all about the wonderful security they can provide. They probably didn't mention the risk of arson and intimidation if you refused their services. It was two guards from Alistair. They were guarding the scanner. If anyone went through it with illegal possessions, they'd shoot first and ask questions later. To be safe, I left my gun in the car. It was a waste bin. It was almost empty apart for some can- It was two guards from Alistair. They were guarding the scanner. If anyone went through it with illegal possessions, they'd shoot first and ask questions later. To be safe, I left my gun in the car. It was another PCAP scanner. I don't think there's anything there. The painting on the wall probably showed Mr. Alistair himself. The electronic eye in the sky. Alright, oh, nothing yet. Protect, protect vision. Join the family. Of course, the system had a security fit for a king, but even kings aren't safe. This little baby cracked more cases than I can remember. Mm. There they were, the security tapes. I uploaded them to the wristband. I checked them at home. Oh. It's coming. Uh-oh. Oh, she scanned it. Okay, good. Let's go back to base. Wait, is there a message? Call mom again. Sala residence. It's me again. I still have a couple of questions. What is it? Oh. I have to go. Talk to you later. I've got to go. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Alice. Goodbye. That's going on the computer. It was an old PC. It still did what I wanted it to do. It also taught me patience. What's this? There's no reason to. I can do. Doing that won't help me. There must be some other way. There's no reason to. The hack tool didn't work on that. This tool needed a PC to do its semi-legal hacking work. Okay. This tool needed a PC to do its semi-legal hacking work. The hack tool didn't work on that. This tool needed a PC to do its semi-legal hacking work. The hack tool didn't work on that. Ah, oh, there it is.
we go. Station exit camera. Some pictures here. Big city cabs. That was interesting. I wanted ah. a print of that. That was interesting. I wanted a print of that. Big city cab one one three eight. That could help me get in contact with whoever was behind the wheel. Aha. That was interesting. I wanted a print of that. Let's get a print of that. And one more to do. This guy. No, someone else. somewhere
Take a break for that. Perhaps in another time I'll be able to find the mystery of the missing shooter. Picture was useless that way. Okay. Gamers like thank you for watching me play Fade by Numbers. Uh, click the link below if you want to play your own version or copy of this game. It's on the Big Geek. Sign, uh, click the links below and um, I hope you have a great week. Stay tuned for more great gaming videos. Signing out now.